Hey class, welcome to UNV 104. This is my welcome email uh, slash video sent out to you today. Um, I usually send this out during the first week. I know today's towards uh, the middle of the week, so I do apologize for that. I was actually out on vacation for the first couple of days of this week, um, but it was, really wasn't much of a vacation as I was at home with um, uh, some sick family members. So, but still, it was it was still time away. Um, I just wanted to introduce myself, put a face uh, with a name, and also body language and voice tone, so you don't just see somebody just on the other end of a computer on the other side typing away. Uh, this class is actually one of my favorite classes. I love talking about research. I love talking about how to research, how to find research, and how to write uh, an essay. Um, I, I step you through all of that in this class. A lot of times students will say, hey, um, how do I cite? How do I do? Each week will build up on the next. Okay, so this week you're going to pick a topic. You're going to learn how to research. Look at DQ1, all right? DQ1 and DQ2 have tutorials, all right? Outside of the tutorials that I have in there for you, if you look down at my post, I have a participation uh, post that you could reply to if you meet the criteria of that post shows you what a research article looks like that's one of them and the second one is you practicing finding a research article it's very important to play pay close attention to detail I say this to students all the time follow the tutorials to a T and it'll teach you don't don't go rogue don't go off and do something on your own don't look at websites don't look at anything else look at the tutorials I show you and also look at the information in the study material there's a lot of helpful information, but what I do with my tutorials is I kind of hone in on the important parts of the assignments um, each week. So for the Sunday due assignment, in DQ1, you'll see that there's two posts in there underneath the tutorial, my welcome message, showing you what a research article looks like and um, you practicing on finding a research article. Okay, in DQ2, I step through all the steps of the worksheet, uh, for the brainstorming worksheet that's due Sunday. All right, so I step you through that stuff. Take a look at those videos. Those videos are there constantly, all the time. They're not going away, so you could always refer back to them. I always tell students to watch every tutorial by no later than Wednesday night, preferably Monday, because if you reply to those posts, you can earn participation posts early on in the week, or particip participation credit early on in the week. So when you watch those tutorials as early as Monday, no later than Wednesday, you're preparing yourself to complete the assignment by Sunday. Okay, the assignments are not difficult, but they can look really stressful if you pop them open on a Saturday or Sunday and think you're just going to wing it. Okay, so don't do that to yourself. All right. Um, so make sure you're stepping through each step. In week two, there's a discussion question. In week two, I have a tutorial video on showing you how to cite, and then you practice citing in that discussion question too for week two. Okay, so each week I'm going to do something different that's going to help you. Week four, when you get to week four, uh, another example is um, I show you an example paragraph, how to write uh, a paragraph. All right, I sometimes put it in week three, DQ3 as well, just so you get a preview of it, and then I post it again in week four, DQ1 so that you can have it again, just in case you missed it in DQ2 the previous week, all right? I'm all about tutorials, and I'm definitely all about communication. So you have to make sure you communicate with me often. Do not wait to communicate with me when it's late, okay? Message, you can reply to this email, set up a time to meet. We could do a face-to-face -face Zoom meeting. We can do a phone call. Um, if you're going to be late with something, please let me know. I know right now it's a lot. Of, it's really difficult with with a lot of families having kids at home, uh, doing work, doing their schoolwork at home. I have that right now too. Okay, so I can empathize with that. So there's going to be some leniency, but students will still be held to the uh, late policy accordingly. But you got to communicate with me. Okay, um, I'm really excited to have everybody in class. Um, and I'm really excited to have you in class. So if you need anything, please reply to this to this email video message and let me know if you do need anything, okay? If not, you can send a message in a private form. Good luck to you and glad to have you in class.